हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर रवि गुप्ता इन टूडे टॉपिक वी वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रो एसिस टर्बो चार्जर सिस्टम इन इलेक्ट्रो एसिस टर्बो चार्जर सिस्टम वी वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ द डिज़ाइन लुक लाइक आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी थ्रो डाइग्राम दैट हाउ इट ऑपरेट एंड वाट आर द एडवांटेज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो एसिस टर्बो चार्जर so after watching this video you doubt regarding the electro assist turbo charger will be clear that i guarantee those who are new to this channel marine engineering hub is a channel in which we make video regarding the marine engine from basic to the advanced level i request all of you those who want to learn who are giving mu class 1 exam class 2 exam class 4 exam this channel is very beneficial for you please do subscribe and please do share and the main purpose of the channel is to spread the knowledge so please help us to do that by spreading with your friend sharing with your friend so let's begin the today video which will be very much crucial which is basically asked in a class 2 exam class 4 exam and class 1 exam that what do you mean by electro assist turbo charger so its answer lies in its wording also electro assist it means that it is providing the assistant to the turbocharger so its short form it is called eat okay so the eat consists of a specially designed high speed permanent magnet motor so let's see the diagram so this is the compressor this is the turbine area and this is the permanent magnet okay this is the permanent magnet which is acting as a motor okay high speed permanent magnet motor directly mounted to the turbocharger rotating assembly the high speed motor applied torque to the turbocharger rotor enabling it to maintain or vary rotor speed at low engine exhaust flow rate in order to supply sufficient charge air to maximize performance very very important so what is happening basically what is happening that this compressor and this turbine now at low load the amount of exhaust gas will not be sufficient enough to bring the turbocharger at a particular rpm for that purpose what is happening we are in the main engine we are providing auxiliary blower now in order to reduce in order to eliminate the need of auxiliary blower we have what we have done we have what we have done this is the compressor side this is the turbine side so what we have done we have installed a motor which is basically consisting of high speed permanent magnet motor this motor is basically what it is doing at low load it is helping the assisting the turbocharger to rotate by providing it a rotation to the shaft as it is providing the assistant to the shaft for rotation what is happening it is providing the required amount of fresh air required for combustion and hence as the combustion amount of air is will be provided the exhaust gas will also slowly increase and as the engine will pick up the rpm it will have a sufficient amount of exhaust gas and that will be sufficient for the combustion purpose at that time it will now deenergize so once more i will repeat so what is happening at low load this motor is assisting to rotate the shaft as the shaft is rotated the amount of compressed air required for combustion is been compressed and that air is causing a efficient combustion and slowly slowly picking up the rpm as the rpm will be picked up the sufficient amount of exhaust gas will be available for combustion purpose though at that time the motor will get deenergized so now let's see the construction what is happening it is basically consisting of a normal stator rotor arrangement simple thing okay so how it is look like like this in a colorful way if you see compressor turbine bearing and this is the high speed motor permanent magnet motor okay now let's see here 
So the turbocharger diesel engine suffer from an inherent deficiency at low speed. That is very true, we know. So there is not enough energy in the exhaust to produce an optimum and readily available to boost for the engine intake air system at off design point. So as you can see this is small permanent type or electro assistable charger. Here is the magnet or you can say armature and this is the compressor and this is a turbine wheel. Okay. So you can see this. Now the technology proved even more important as majority of large marine vessels are now operating in a slow steaming part throttle mode. Very very important. So why this technology come up? Now if the question is asked that suddenly why we need the electro assist system? So what is happening as the market was in recession at that time the company was selling to run the engine in a slow steaming mode as the engine was run in a slow steaming mode the auxiliary power is not made for continuous operation so it may burn out to prevent that from happening this electro assist turbocharger came up and this electro assist turbocharger idea came up and this helped to use the main turbocharger and providing the compressed air eliminating the need of a auxiliary blower so the majority of marine diesel engine use auxiliary air blower to supply additional air to engine intake during the off design point what do i mean by off design point off design point means that the point in which the sufficient amount of air that is required for combustion is been not provided by the turbocharger system that is called off design point so during that point the it is been done by the auxiliary air blower the auxiliary air blower are inefficient and not intended not designed to be used in a constant operation that is very very important the system came the electro assist turbocharger idea came up because the auxiliary blower was not meant for constant operation as it was not meant for constant operation and there might be a chance of burnout therefore this electro assist turbocharger idea came up as the engine was run in a slow steaming mode because of the recession and because of the increased fuel cost. So the EAT unit can provide higher discharge pressure further improve the fuel efficiency. So the first thing of EAT is that it eliminate the need of a auxiliary blower. Second it have a higher discharge pressure and therefore improve the fuel efficiency and it eliminate the need of an external piece of machinery during the operation thus lowering the maintenance cost okay means it does not require any auxiliary blower so any separate machine is not required for run and therefore it prevent the running cost and lower the maintenance cost also either for slow steaming improve engine performance under partial and low loads okay save approx 30 percent electrical power compared to the auxiliary blower if we compare this eat with the auxiliary blower it saved 30 percent of the more electrical power it has got compact design very important it has got compact design second thing it has not requiring the separate auxiliary blower and it is suitable for retrofitting very very important means it can be retrofitted in your conventional turbocharger system and hence is very important so if they ask you that what are the advantage you should say first start with the slow steaming then you save no need of auxiliary blower then you can say suitable for retrofitting then you can say it requires less electrical power okay and after that you can say improve fuel efficiency and also you can say high discharge pressure okay like that you can say the thing so i think after watching the video you have got a clear idea that how an electro assist turbocharger system works if you still got doubt please do mention in the comment below i am making the video based on the interview based on the questions asked in a exam examination in the examination the surveyor want to know that you have got a clear idea or not that is he want to know so you should know this much 
I can go very deep in detail at how this thing is getting energized and all that but that is not required because that is a analytical part that comes in analytical part but in a mechanical part the systems comes like how the system is working why it came into operation why it is needed that's all question has been asked so that I'm trying to cover if you want to know more please do comment below I will make the video on that I hope you have liked the video please do share the video please hit the like button and please 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 help us to encourage please do share because this video are made not for the money purpose is only been made for the knowledge purpose the money which we are getting from here is very very minimal only for editing only for making the video we are not making any profit and we are not making anything if you want please do share thank you friend